Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video for a Patreon of mine called ND. Now ND was asking about how do you configure the outputs in something like RD Pilot. Now this happens to be uh, just talking about this specific piece. If you're interested, I have complete video series on how to configure Ardu Copter and also how to configure Ardu Plane. And this particular part is the same whether or not you're installing it onto a Pixhawk Cube Orange, uh, something from Holy Bro, like the C6 that I used recently, or a Matek board or another flight controller, as you can install it on lots of different hardware now. Now, the way you do this is not as tricky as it might appear. So the basic plane setup will give me aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. So there's those four different channels, but you can put whichever channel on whichever PWM output that you want. Now, this is just the default value. You can also change the minimum and maximum travel as well as the middle position as well. Now, again, I go through this in far more detail in those RD Pilot for Beginners series. But let's say, for example, that we didn't have a conventional plane, that we had something like a V-tail. In those instances, then things like the elevator and the rudder would be mixed together. So what I would probably do is aileron um, and elevator. I would probably turn the second one into throttle. If I hit T on the keyboard it'll take me to all the t's there we are throttle so we've got the aileron we'll plug in servo output one throttle will go into output two and then i would change these two outputs for the different things for the v-tails now you have lots of options in here you can see here that we have options for elevons that's what you need in something like a flying wing but we should also if we search around in here be able to find the couple of things that we need for a v-tail and here we have VTEL left and VTEL right. So we'll select VTEL left there. And here we'll do VTEL right. And that is how we're going to plug all the pieces in. So in this particular example, what we're going to do is going to plug the aileron control into output one, the throttle for the motor into output two, VTEL left and VTEL right are going to go into outputs three and four. But we could say, well, hang on a minute, it might be a model that has two ailerons. Well, that's absolutely fine. We can just add another aileron in here. So now we can plug one channel in one and one in the other. We'll probably have to reverse one of the ailerons to make that work okay, and that's absolutely fine. The other thing you can do is you can assign different options in here as well. You can have things like different motors. That's obviously more for your multi-rotor stuff. But also you have all the stuff here for VTOLs. So you've got things like the tilt rotors. But you can also just expose the inputs, the radio control inputs. Maybe you have a pan and tilt set up. Then all you do is say maybe your pan and tilt is on your radio set as channel 8 and 9. You can just put them out on a particular output. There we go. So now I will plug my ailerons into channels 1 and 5. I put my throttle in channel 2. My VTELs would go into outputs 3 and 4. And then my pan and silt servos would go into 6 and 7. And you can just put whatever you want. This is incredibly powerful. And this is how it's all done now in the latest versions of RD Pilot. So hopefully ND, that answers it for you. It just pick the options that you need and then match in the outputs for the servos that you're plugging in the right numbers. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.